Now, uh, this next video, I wasn't even sure if I have to include it in the video review because it's kind of, uh, you know, nitty gritty. But uh, I think if you if you will study uh, our region, I'm talking about, you know, Kazakhstan, Central Asia, uh, you know, uh, Bashkirs, uh, and etc. You will eventually run into this problem of the terminology used. So I decided to include it just in case maybe you will you will need this information. Anyways, uh, it's regarding the name Sadakh, uh, Sadakh Sadakh because, uh, like I said, when my first book came out, the name of it, you know, Sadakh or as I spelled it, Sadakh uh, it was very controversial because there, there were other opinions as to how uh, it was called or as to how we can call it even today. And um, I also I, I read other authors, other researchers from Russia and, and, and our own Kazakh researchers. Everybody kind of stumbled upon this uh, issue at some point. Basically, it comes down to what is a traditional name for archer, archery uh, in Kazakh language. If you open uh, any dictionary, the name for bow, horse bow in Kazakh language is Sadak. And uh, because Kazakh is part of Turkic languages, obviously, if you want to turn uh, the, the name bow into a bow, bow uh, into archer, you add this uh, uh, sh part. So you get Sadak Sh. And that's what growing up I always refer to as an archer. And uh, accordingly, if an archer is Sadak Sh, Sadak Sh, then uh, archery would be Sadak Sh Luk. That's how, uh, you know, that's how it works in Kazakh language. So that's why I called my book Sadak Sh Luk. And uh, as I was looking at it, it, it made sense to me because in Turkic language, it's called Okchuluk. Uh, except for in their case, uh, we use word bow in the name and they use arrow in the name. So Ok, ok is uh, arrow, Okchuluk is uh, arrow shooter, so to speak, but it means uh, archer. And so uh, that was one confusion because uh, everybody assumed that if in many Turkic languages, and it's not just, uh, it's not just Turkish, the Bashkirs and other Turkic speaking uh, nations today use Okchuluk, uh, Okchu, Okshe, as a name for archer, and we use Sadakshe. And uh, another another uh, um, confusion comes from the name Sadak itself, because in many languages Sadak means either quiver or bow hol holster or uh, the entire kit. Uh, in, in Russian language, for example, it's called Sadachny Nabor, which means uh, bow, bow kit, which includes everything, bow holster, quiver, and belt. But in our case, for some reason, it's referred to a bow itself. Uh, it gets even more confusing because uh, there is also another name for a bow. Uh, it's called Ja or Jai. And uh, very often they refer to bow, horse bow, in Turkic languages as that. And for example, uh, our Kyrgyz brothers, 
they choose that as a as a base for for the word archer so in their language archer is jaishe so uh, we have at least three options among uh, very uh, close relative uh, turkic peoples we have okçuluk we have sadakşe and we have jaishe Okçe, Sadakşe, Jaishe, and they all mean archer. And so there is a lot of confusion about it because when people trying to kind of put this all together neatly in the boxes, uh, as we all love, uh, you know, categorize it, and it just doesn't make sense. In different parts of Kazakhstan, maybe some uh, tribes uh, within tribes uh, within tribal confederations refer to. Uh, Sadak as a kit, others Sadak as a uh, as a quiver, others Sadak as a uh, bow holster, and others to bow itself. And it's just getting confusing. And we had a lot of uh, back and forth about it. And everybody have their own version. Uh, I stick with. Uh, the one that's in the dictionary, the, the one I was growing up with, Sadakshe, Sadak, Sadakshe. So finally, uh, one of the solutions to this dilemma that I offered was that, okay, uh, let's just assume that no matter what Sadak means, let it be uh, quiver, let it be bow holster, the kit itself or the bow itself, never mind. Let's just use a person, a warrior, who carries Sadakh, no matter what it is. We call him Sadakh as in carrier of Sadakh, whatever it means. So that's kind of, a, as I try to work around this, to make sense out of it, so it doesn't confuse everybody. But again, uh, this is just my take. I stand my ground. I think this is the right name. And I can bring a lot of uh, arguments. Of course, uh, my opponents uh, uh, would bring their own arguments and they will be just as valid. And we just kind of have to roll with it. So if you will get into, you know, very academian about archery and you will hear uh, this kind of uh, uh, arguments about this name, Sadak, Sadakshe, Oh, Okchu, uh, and etc. Uh, there is no, there is no clear answer to that. Nobody has one clear answer. There are versions. All of them are well funded, and I guess we just pick whatever is uh, we consider more supported by evidence and etc. And, et and I made my choice. Uh, others made their own choice, and. Whoever gets in this pool of terms gets confused. So welcome to our situation. <laughs>